And now we conclude with the next in our Highlights from Talkback series. Hi, and a happy Thanksgiving to you if you live here in the United States of America and are celebrating Thanksgiving on this weekend of November the 26th, 2021. As I continue in my theme of highlights from Talkback, I now come to the 15th installment. In our 14th installment, we talked about how to go about editing text using the multi-finger gestures. Today, however, I'll be demonstrating this editing feature using the traditional method. In other words, I'll be using the one single finger to do the editing. To be sure that I'm not doing this on a phone that supports multi-finger gestures, I'd like to mention here in passing that I am doing this on my first generation Pixel and that's the Pixel XL introduced in 2016 running Android 10. Today's voice is brought to us by the voice of Sophie from the defunct Speak TTS. I am on my home screen now and I'll navigate my way to the word processing folder and find and launch the Keep Notes. I will now put my finger down, find and tap on word processing folder. Folder. Word processing. I will now double tap to open word processing folder. Page one of one. Folder opened. Three by three. The next thing I'm looking for is keep notes. Keep notes. Keep notes. Search your notes. Edit box. I am now in my keep notes. At the bottom right corner is the new text note, and that's what I'm looking for. I will now put my finger near the bottom right corner of my phone, find and tap on New Text Note. New Text Note, button. Note opened, note, edit box for note body, and list. Showing English, US, QWERTY, keyboard. Upon tapping on new note, we are directly placed in the body of the note. In other words, it skips the title and places us directly where we could type our note. If you want to put the title, of course, then you have to move above that and type in the title. But right now, the active field is the body of the note. I'm going to be using the voice dictation. In other words, I'm utilizing the voice dictation on the keyboard to dictate a few lines. I will now put my finger down, find and tap on the voice input. Here I go. Voice input. Hello, and thanks to listening to the Blind Android Users Podcast, period, new paragraph. I would like to thank you all for taking your time to listen to us on this beautiful weekend of Thanksgiving here in the United States of America, period. Again, we appreciate you for listening to us, period. Sticker keyboard. I finished my dictation, double tap to stop the voice dictation. In other words, I double tap to close the microphone from listening. I will now put my finger down to see if I have what I dictated captured, and if not, if there are any errors, then we'll need to correct. And that's where the editing will come in. I will now put my finger down. Keep notes, editing, hello and thanks to listening to the Blind Android Users Podcast. I would like to thank you all for taking your time to listen to us on this beautiful weekend with Thanksgiving here in the United States of America. Again, we appreciate you for listening to us. Edit box, note for note body, and list. And there is my dictation. Now, for example, if I want to change the word hello to say the word hi, for example, what I would like to do before I invoke the editing feature or the selection mode or whatever and all of that, I would like to first navigate to where that word is. So I will now navigate by either paragraph or by line. I do not want to navigate word by word because that's going to take a long time to get to the word hello. So I will now put my finger down and do the gesture for switching granularity. This is what I call the scrubbing movement. In other words, I put my finger down and swipe up and down in one fluid movement to switch through or circle through the granularities. 
For example, if I put my finger down and scrub up and down, accessibility volume. Doing that says accessibility volume. I'll do that up down scrub again. I will keep that up down scrubbing movement till I hear it says paragraphs or lines. So here I go. Scroll. Speech rate. Windows. Links. Controls. Headings. Paragraphs. And there is my paragraph. I will leave it on paragraphs and now, instead of doing an up and down scrubbing movement, I will simply swipe up with one finger to go from paragraph to paragraph. Here I go. I would like to thank you all for taking your time to listen to us on this beautiful weekend with Thanksgiving here in the United States of America. Again, we appreciate you for listening to us. I will swipe again because that is not the paragraph that has the word hello. Hello and thanks to listening to the Blind Android Users Podcast. Beginning of field. I am told that I am at the beginning of the field of this paragraph. What I will do now, though, is switch my granularity to the word granularity. And again, using that up-down scrubbing movement, I will do that one finger up and down scrubbing movement. Lines. I did that and it says lines and I wanted words. So I'll do it one more time. Words. I am on the granularity of words. I will now swipe down with one finger because I am now at the beginning of the word hello. I'll swipe down and you'll see what I mean. Hello. Swiping down with one finger says the word hello. And that means that my cursor is behind the letter O in the word hello. To prove that, I will switch to the character granularity by doing an up-down scrubbing movement to place me in the character mode. And I'll swipe up with one finger and you'll hear letter O. Here I go. Characters. Now swipe up with one finger. O. Oscar. There's letter O. Now I'm going to go swipe back down again. O. Oscar. So I am at the end of that word hello. Now, we could either just hit the space bar here and delete one character at a time till we have deleted letter E, or we could simply go into the editing mode and go choose the selection mode. And the latter is what I'm going to do. I will now swipe down and curve to the right with one finger to activate the talkback menu. And by the way, whether you're using a modern phone like the Pixel 6 or using an older device like the Pixel 1 that I'm using, that drawing of a line and curving to the right still works in invoking talkback menu. I will now swipe down with one finger and curve to the right to invoke the talkback menu. Talkback menu. Editing options, one of nine, and list, nine items. Swiping down and curving to the right tells me I am sitting on editing options. And that's exactly what we want. I will now tap anywhere on the face of the phone to activate that menu that says editing options. Upon tapping on that editing options, we have items that pop up. And here are the items that we find as a result of that. Editing options. Move cursor to beginning, one of four, and list, four items. We have moved cursor to the beginning, so in other words, if I did not move to the beginning of this node that I had, I could simply have tapped on this and moved me to the beginning. Or, if I want to move to the end of the document, I could choose the next item. Move cursor to end. Two of four. Move cursor to end. The next item here is... Select all. Three of four. Select all. I could tap on the select all if I wanted to highlight everything that I have dictated so far and want to simply select all and then hit the delete key to get rid of it. 
Or in this case, what I'm looking for is the one that says Start Selection Mode. And so I will now move my finger down and get to the last item here, which is Selection Mode. Start or end selection mode, four of four. Hush we design. have the start or end selection mode. In other words, tapping on this will activate the selection mode. And if I were in a selection mode and I come back here to the talkback menu and tap on the editing options again, I could tap here to end the selection mode if the selection mode were already active. Now that it's not active, I will tap here to activate that selection mode. Editing, selection mode on. Hello and thanks to listening to the blind. So we're told that selection mode is now active. So here I could switch to whatever granularity that I want to move by. Either I want to move my selection by character or move my selection by word, for example. It is totally up to me. So now I'm going to switch to the word granularity. Words. So I'm now on words. If I swipe up with one finger, hello, selected. I am told that the word hello is selected. And here I could either copy, cut, delete, or whatever I want to do with it. For example, let's say I want to copy this word hello or cut it and put it at the end of my dictation, that is, at the end of what I dictated. What we will need to do here, however, is invoke the talkback menu again by swiping down and curving to the right, which I'm going to do right now. Talkback menu, actions, one of ten. Upon doing the swipe down and curving to the right, we are now in the talkback menu. And as you can hear, we have an additional item here. This time is called actions. But along with actions, we have other items. Editing options. Two of ten. Editing, options. editing options. Now, the actions is not what we're looking for. What we're looking for is the editing options. Tapping on the actions would simply take us to things like share, translate, and all of that, or read with some other app. But that's not what we want. We want the item that says editing options. Actions. So I will now tab on. Editing options. Editing options. Two of editing. Hello and th Tapping on editing options. Here are the items that we find. Editing options. Out of list. Move cursor to beginning. Move cursor to end. Cut. Three of six. Copy. Four of six. Select all. Five of six. End selection mode. Six of six. Those are the items that we have when we tap on editing options. I would like to cut the word hello. Select all. Bot copy. Cut. Three of six. Tap here to cut. C cut. Hello. Editing. And, and we hear that in a different voice say that we cut the word hello. And I am now back on the main body of the note. If I put my finger down. Editing. And thanks to listening to the blind Android users podcast. As you can hear, the word hello is gone, and all we have left is, and thanks to listening to the Blind Android Users Podcast. Now I'm going to go to the end of my dictation. In other words, I'm going to navigate my way to the end of this dictation that is the body of the message. And I could either uh, use my granularity and move either by paragraph to go to the end of the document or go back into the talkback menu and tap on move cursor to end. I think I'm doing the latter. So I'll swipe down, curve to the right, bring up the talkback menu, tap on editing, and tap on move cursor to end. Talkback menu. Ed now I'm going to tap on editing. Editing. And, and now I'm going to tap on move cursor to end. Move cursor to end. Two of five. And that's move what I want. To end. Editing, and thanks to listen. Now, I am at the end of my document. And now, I could either long press anywhere here and tap on paste, or I could invoke the talkback menu and go tap on paste. Let's try the latter. Talkback menu. We'll tap on editing again. Editing options, one of nine. 
editing. And we're going to find paste. Move, move cursor, paste, three of five. Paste. Pasted, hello. Editing. All right, now I'm going to put my finger down and see if it can read for me the whole entire dictation. Editing, and thanks to listening to the Blind Android Users Podcast. I would like to thank you all for taking your time to listen to us on this beautiful weekend with Thanksgiving here in the United States of America. Again, we appreciate you for listening to us. Hello, edit box, note for note body. There was my hello at the end of my dictation, and there's a period between the word hello and the last word that we had prior to appending the word hello. That is how you go about editing using the traditional method if your phone does not have the multi-finger gestures. So Warren, I heard a casting rumor this week. Can you confirm that you are going to be guest starring in Mariam's commentary series and recording a few CSR episodes for us? That's what they were saying in Hollywood News and Vogue this week. I wish I could. You know, Miriam is my friend. And, uh, I mean, we don't see eye to eye <laughs> when it comes to uh, CSR. But then, of course, she's doing a phenomenal job. And I don't think I'm qualified enough to even take that role. So I'll leave it to Austin, since he's the evangelist for CSR. And uh, he could be sitting in for Miriam whenever Miriam is not able to. Uh, do one of our CSR uh, series. Uh, Austin can easily slide in there and do that CSR demonstration or whatever that needs to be done. How about that? Uh, so you deny the casting rumours then? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea if Hollywood news actually exists. I know Vogue does. I can imagine Warren in the pages of Vogue. Um, hopefully Hollywood news does it. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't think so. <laughs> Well, you know, according to TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh it, you God. know it's real. If, if Warren shows up in TMZ, then you know it's real. <laughs> or, or ain't it cool news.com. That was always the film site that uh, we were looking at in our university days. Oh. Uh, no. Uh, no, I, I think we'll put Austin in there. Um, he is... <laughs> <laughs> Here's the evangelist uh, for the CSR. And uh, uh, Austin, what's up with that? I think so. Let Mariam only do that series. I am not uh, qualified to do that series. Yeah, but you've been I evangelizing over it. I evangelize over uh, Android or TalkBack, and I can do whatever it takes because don't just do the talk. <laughs> you, you need to walk the talk. Well, I, I looked at CSR again this week, and one thing I'm surprised that people don't talk about more is how annoying, by default, the typing experience is. So I'm typing a word, and if you have the key echo on, it won't say, if you're typing hello, it won't say H-E-L-L-O, and then confirm when you hit space. It goes h he hell hell hello and imagine how distracting that would be if you're trying to type anti-disestablishmentarianism or something a bit longer than hello. <laughs> and uh, what, what I had to go, what, what I had to go and do, uh, and it was on, you know, I should have done it anyway, really, because I don't like them. Is I had to go and kill all the suggestion and prediction settings on my keyboard. So uh, turn off the suggestion bar, stop it trying to identify a misspelt word, and just turn all of that absolutely off. So there's no autocorrect, auto formatting going on at all. And then CSR behaves itself. But for people who quite like those suggestion bars, that must be kind of annoying. But you notice what happens is that everything that TalkBack doesn't do right gets amplified, but people tend to put things under the rug, ugly stuff about CSR. You never hear those things because I, I tell you, that would be so annoying more than heck. And it was it's... really annoying. <laughs> but I'm on, I'll go to the group, like the Telegram group for CSR. It's like, does anyone notice this? Yeah, that happens. <laughs> like, well, does, isn't anyone bothered? Like, no, because it's not talked about, and off. they would not talk about it because that's the <laughs> the ugly underbelly part of the CSR. <laughs> I go, oi, Lee, sort it out. It's really annoying. <laughs> yeah, it makes yeah, sense. it's a little. 
it's a little bit of both, uh, but I was able to strangle it and I posted the fix. But uh, uh, yeah, uh, obviously you need to work out. I did it for Gboard. If you're using something else, you need to work out. How yeah, to but I do want to hear my predictions. So I'm not typing every freaking thing out. You know what I mean? I don't type. Uh, well. When I'm typing on my phone, uh, frankly, I don't complete a lot of the, the, the spellings because it the says prediction. what it is and I simply hit the space bar to confirm. Yeah. <laughs> See, I don't, I don't like the predictions anyway, and I was surprised there were bits of it I'd left turned on. So I, I, I turn off the suggestion bar, but it still had the um, <laughs> sort of the next word uh, and, and, and suggesty uh, auto correcty thing on. So I um, I went in and strangled those. Uh, so yeah, it, it it fixed it. But like you say, if you like the predictions, then that's going to be seriously painful. That, folks, is it for this week, Austin. How can people get in touch with us? So people can get in touch with us by visiting us on the website blindandroidusers.com. They can send in their questions by filling in the feedback form on the website or by emailing us, contact us at blindandroidusers.com. Subscribe to our mailing list, Blind Android Users Plus subscribe at groups.io. The links for Telegram, Twitter, Clubhouse and the YouTube channel is in the show notes. So you can go there and check them out. That is it from us for episode 51. And do please write to us, by the way, if you want to be in our anniversary uh, one year session. Uh, when's that? Is it the 18th? 18th December. December. Yeah. yeah. So write to us at uh, contact us at blindandroidusers.com. I think we've also got a form, but uh, either either way, uh, it was a cracking session last week. You can catch up with it on the podcast if you didn't join us live, but do do join us live for that pre. It's a Saturday before Christmas, so you don't want to bother doing Christmas shopping. You want to hang out with us. Uh, Christmas shopping on the 18th of December is a little bit early. You should leave it at least until the afternoon of the 24th. That's the time you want to be picking Christmas presents for your significant other. And I want to join Ed in thanking you guys. This is something we should have mentioned earlier, but thank you so much for participating in our 50th episode celebration and absolutely looking forward to seeing you guys participating with us, most especially in our one-year anniversary, which is going to be a very important one. And again, send us email if you want to be part of that celebration to contact us at blindandroidusers.com. The registration form for the 18th will be live later this week. Great. Okay. Brilliant. So email us in the meantime if you wanna if you wanna sign up or wait. And yeah, as Doug says, wait later in the week and you can fill out the form. That's it for week. That's it for this week, folks. See you all next week. Bye, friends. And that has been another episode of the Blind Android Users Podcast. As always, we appreciate hearing from you. You send those email messages to contact us at blindandroidusers.com. For those My Android Journey stories, we encourage you to send those to myandroidjourney at blindandroidusers.com. Until we see you in our next episode, you have a wonderful day.